evening, everybody. Good evening. This is Vlogmas Day 20. Two zero! And we are finally, Almost there! We are finally home from work. Yeah. We got some Diddy's. Chinese food for Din Din because it's eat out night. I don't have mine open yet, but Dan does. Is it the same as what I yep. got? Yep. General to Sows. <laughs> General to Sows. <laughs> some fried dumplings. Yep. And egg rolls, of course. Of course. And Dan brought me some pretty flowers home because he's so sweet. Are these birthday flowers or just because flowers? Because flowers. Oh. Because my birthday's not till Sunday. And they're Christmas colors. And they are Christmas colors. So pretty. I love pretty Christmas color y flowers. Plus, red's my favorite color, so they're really good any time of the year. But what a sweetie poo. I'm not a poo. <laughs> Let's eat our dinner. Yeah. All right, everybody. Dinner is finished. And now. It is time to write out or address Christmas cards to go out so I can finally get them out because I've been slacking. To be fair, we just got them a little bit ago, but still, yeah. but still, but still, gotta get them out, gotta get them out, gotta get them out, gotta get them out. What Dan said. Let's get cracking. Get cracking. Body. What's happening? <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm joking on my own spit. Yikes. Whew, okay, good. Yeah, you're probably going to hear Dan coughing and you won't be able to hear me talk because my voice is still very low. It's very low. It's very low. He's playing bass. I always see what it happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. We're going to answer some fun questions for you because we know that our Friday nights are not very eventful because we both work late. And then we get food out to eat. And, and sit on the couch and watch TV. sit on the couch and watch TV. Tonight is awesome because all of the Rankin Bass uh, movies are on Freeform. Um, so Ooh. that's really fun because yeah, we fun. haven't watched any of them all year. So we've been yeah. having them out in the background. So, yeah, we thought so, this yeah. would be kind of fun to do because it's Christmassy themed. And then you can hear more about us if you haven't. Uh, you know, been following us for a little while, or if you are, you know, are new to our channel, or yeah. something like that. You right. You can learn more about our Christmassy likes. Our lives. Christmassy, Christmassy lives. Likes. Oh, likes. Works likes. Too. I like lives. Likes. <laughs> First question. First question. Hot chocolate or eggnog? <clears throat> what do you choose? Both. I like them both. Incorrect. The correct answer is hot chocolate. So, <laughs> as a complete winter beverage, hot cocoa. But for Christmas time, they're both good. Team so. hot cocoa. No eggnog. Team both. Team both. I can't choose. It's hard to choose. Hot chocolate is really good with um, peppermint mocha creamer. Yes. Super That's good. That's like uber ultimate hot chocolate. Fun fact. Mm -hmm. Second question. Colored or white lights? Go. Is this pre-LED or after LED? Because LED, LEDs are not in the question. LED ruined colored lights for me. Because they're not Christmas. Non-LED lights. Colored or white? I pick colored. I prefer colored lights. I think white on the tree, but colored elsewhere that's a good one. like colored on I mean, the windows and stuff I like think that. white looks good it's classy it's classic mm -hmm. classy classic and really the only reason why we have white on the tree is because of the fact that 
that LED bulbs for trees are gross. Correct. And then, uh, yeah, if we go into the LED or not LED, LED question. LEDs are way too LEDs are intense. Right. I'm going to take off my glasses so you don't glare off them. All right. Glasses list. Question three. When do you decorate? Well, normally it's Internal. Like I, <laughs> this year I decorated before Thanksgiving because we went away immediately after Thanksgiving. Correct. So I wanted the inside of the house to be decorated. Um, however, obviously not the tree. So. Yeah. Because we left for Disney the Saturday after Thanksgiving. Normally I wait till after Thanksgiving and like that weekend I'll decorate. Yeah. Um, but. Inside and out. Usually yeah. we do. We have a somewhat tradition of decorating the outside of our house, my brother's house, and my parents' house. That weekend. Um, Black Friday. So the day yeah. after Thanksgiving. Well, or, I'm always or that weekend, either Black I'm Friday or that weekend. The Friday after Thanksgiving, so yeah. normally it's Saturday and Sunday that we do it. Like Generally, we'll do our house and uh, Dan's brother's house on Saturday because our house doesn't take too long and Jeff's house doesn't really take super long. Yeah. Um, and then on Sunday we'll do Dan's parents' house because we go out there on Sundays usually anyway. Yep. Question four. Real tree or fake tree? Real. Real tree. Obviously. I've never had an artificial tree. I did in college. Like, I did too we were in college. To, we were allowed to have one. In our tree. apartment we had like a tiny little fake tree. But yeah, never had an actual fake tree in my house. The only reason you're allowed to have a fake tree as if you're allergic. Right. Even then, psh, you should just get used to it and build up, <laughs> build up your immunity. <laughs> Alright, question. Just five. Just, you don't need to know six, the numbers. Five. I, the numbers I'm all matter. messed up on numbers. Numbers here. don't matter. Next question. There you go. What tops your tree? A star. A star. A star. A star. I can't sing at all because my voice is really raspy. <laughs> you sing low. It's my chariot. Sing low. Uh, favorite Christmas memory and or tradition? I would probably just have to say Christmas Eve's with my dad's side of the family. It's always been my favorite Christmas tradition. And we've always had some good memories from those times, especially since, you know, my dad's no longer with us and my uncle John had passed away a while ago too. Um, so I have good memories with my dad and my uncle John from Christmas Eve's and yeah, just those times. I would say our current Christmas setup, which involves Christmas mm -hmm. Eve with your family mm -hmm. and Christmas Day with partially my family and partially your mom. Um, it's kind of like when I grew up, we did, uh, obviously Christmas presents in the morning with my immediate family, brother, sister, and parents, and then around lunchtime we would go to my mom's, uh, parents' house and my grandparents on my mom's side, and then for dinner we'd go to my dad's side, uh, grandparents, or mom, parents, grandparents, whatever go to their house for dinner. So we did like three stops every Christmas, which was probably insane for my parents. But we had a lot of fun because we had three <laughs> different sets of gift, gifts that day. So it's kind of like the same thing that we do now. You know, we have Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day, two stops and kind of see as many people as possible because it's awesome to see Yeah, family. I mean, Christmas Day, we don't really make it, it's not technically I mean, it is two stops but it's not technically two stops because like it's our right mom lives right up the street <laughs> it takes two minutes to get there Less so really minutes. we're just like spending our morning with my mom having breakfast and then we go to Dan's Correct. for the rest of the day and then my mom goes to um, my cousin's house next question favorite gift you received as a child Easy, my personalized Mighty Ducks jersey. Ooh, ooh snap! Yeah, I loved that thing. <laughs> I wish I could still fit into it, but the sleeves come up to like here on me. Like I didn't grow too, too much since second grade, really. Like as far as height wise, so like it would probably fit me height wise, but definitely not length wise in the sleeves. 
definitely. Those was. grew. But yeah, so my dad had a thing where he always personalized jerseys um, because his whole thing was, I'll never get traded. I'll always be a fan. So he got me a Mighty Ducks jersey personalized. Very awesome. Honestly, I can't think of one. I've been trying to think of one. And I can't. Oh, we got a puppy for Christmas. No. That's it. That's got to be a good one. That was that was pretty awesome. I remember seeing the videos. Yeah, in the video, um, my parents uh, adopted a dog from uh, a puppy from a shelter, and she's only a couple months old. So she came out. To, they let her out. For they had her in the kitchen and in a kennel. They let her out. She came out, saw us, and we're like, a puppy! And then she peed all over the floor. <laughs> She's peeing! <laughs> it, was, it was pretty She's awesome. peeing all over. And my brother goes, Can, is she ours? Can yeah. we keep her? It was pretty funny. So that was a lot of fun. That's probably my favorite. That's cool. Uh, next question. Favorite Christmas movie? Favorite Christmas movie? It goes back and forth for me. Well, not really back and forth, but I like them each for different reasons. So, A Christmas Story and White Christmas are my favorite Christmas movies. I can't choose between the two of them, so they're both my favorite Christmas movies. Boom. There's so many good ones. And it changes depending on what you're feeling, what your mood is like. If you're feeling nostalgic, you go White Christmas. If you're like, like, the, like, our quintessential movie for Christmas time is Christmas Story. It's one we watch as many times as we can, all the time. It's like Hocus Pocus at Halloween. But you never time. really watched that until. But I never, yeah, I didn't. Me. But now I, you know. And you. now you have converted you. But I think my favorite overall, like long term, would probably be National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Oh, that's a good one too. That's probably one of my favorites. That's, that's a very close second. It's all out there. For me. See, I like. Well, Christmas Story is, you know, it's something we watched a lot when I was growing up. It, you know, there, I can quote pretty much the entire movie. Um, I don't even really need to be watching it to know what's happening. Yep. Um, and then, of course, TBS plays it for 24 hours straight. Um, so it was always kind of in the background for our Christmas days. Um, so that's kind of always been... A fun thing for our family <coughs> and white Christmas I like the message that it sends um also I love musicals anything musical um, and I like the message it sends and I can't think of a time when I've watched it that I didn't tear up when they um, you know all saluted the general when he walks in the ballroom <laughs> can't think of a time when I didn't cry it just really chokes you up because you think about be, <laughs> me being the history nerdo, <laughs> you think about you know all those who sacrificed their time for our country and they're away for Christmas and all holidays really, but Christmas is like a major holiday that they're away for. So there you go. Yeah. Uh, next question. We have two more left. Favorite Christmas song? That's a hard one. Honestly, I have no idea. There's so many good Christmas songs. I know. I would have to say... The <coughs> Bing Crosby, the Christmas song. Because... That was always the first song on the track of the CD that we had, like the mixed Christmas CD that we had mm -hmm. growing up. So when I woke up on Christmas morning and we were ready to, you know, open gifts and such, um, when you put on the CD, that's the first song that played. So that song always reminds me of Christmas morning. So I would have to say the Christmas song, but it's also followed very closely by let it snow because I love snow. Because snow is awesome. Yeah. Also, uh, oh jeez, really, here we go. I really enjoyed playing sleigh ride in band. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's cool. another good one as well because I was playing the baritone on that song, 
Me too. And, oh yeah. Woo! Yeah. I played the trumpet more so, but I dabbled in the baritone my last few years of, of high school. And so we enjoyed, well, I enjoyed the bass parts, playing the bass parts and how you got to really make it sound big and brassy. Yes. Um, uh, just randomly, songs that I, songs that I like. I like the 12 Pains of Christmas along <laughs> with the Muppets 12 Days of Christmas. Oh, okay. Sh mainly because of Beaker. <laughs> me, 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 me. And then you can't go wrong with that. <laughs> All right, last question. Very important. Candy canes, yuck or yum? Yum! <laughs> Obviously yum. Who doesn't like candy canes? There's probably a lot of people Is that don't really? like candy canes. Yeah. I guess if you don't like mint. One of my coworkers yeah. does not like peppermint, really? so they don't like candy right. canes. I guess that's fair. Um, <clears throat> I used to... <laughs> so candy canes were like a big thing that our high school... <laughs> Like teachers would give out to us before break, so like the last mm -hmm. they did a little small day ones. of school. No, the big uh, ones. Oh yeah, big ones. Oh, wow. Yeah. So like one of our teachers gave us um, the blueberry ones every year, like the blue raspberry ones, Ooh. and those ones are delicious. I like um, those. So I just remember getting like a bunch of candy canes, and we'd just be walking through the halls eating candy canes. But I do like <coughs> I do like a candy cane. A peppermint flavor in anything this time of the year. True. True story. All right, that's all the questions. Do you say yum for candy canes? Yeah. Any I butter that I've said yum? I said yum. <laughs> I said yum. I said yum. All right. I'm going to do our uh, sock advent calendar and then call it an evening. Sock. Sucks, 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 I'm just going to wait for the keys. Right to the keys. The work keys. God, you really? Wow. Ah. Oh, Mickey Ooh. face. Oh. The sweetest holiday on earth. Oh. How fancy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He's got, like, whipped cream hat. Oh, he's a mug. Oh, he's a mug! <laughs> Did you hear him? That, was that was amazing. That was a mug. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. He's like a mug. He's like a mug. With, and he's like, he's he's hot chocolate. And he's got whipped cream topping. How fancy. Good job, Nikki. All right. I love these socks. They're kind of cute. They are pretty awesome. I really wish that the one that was in the candy cane cutie one said candy cane cutie so that I could wear it with my candy cane cutie. Maybe bag. there's one in there still that says that. That's true. We have a few more days left. We do. All, All right. right, everybody. We are off to sleepy land. We are both working in the morning. Ugh. But yes. we are doing something fun at night. Yes. Something that's new to us and new to our area for Christmas time. But we've seen it in lots of other vlogs. Well, this type of event at uh, in lots of other vlogs. Oh, okay. I and it looks cool, is. so I'm hoping that they really do it up big. If not, we'll say, oh, we were there for the first year of it. And then when it comes back, you'll be like, this is better than this last year. year. This is better, better than, than last year. year. <laughs> All right. All righty. No, come on. Don't ruin the garland, Dan. Jeez. Took me all day to put that up. No, not really. It took me like two seconds. All right. We'll see you later. Good night, everybody. Good night.